Now, to be able to sort your bulleted list or numbered list items, it's really simple. And when it comes to sorting, what it does, generally speaking, is it takes the first letter within that list and you can sort that, the whole item, by that first letter either ascending, which goes from all the A's up at the top, followed by the B's, C's, D's, down to the Z's, or you can flip that, do descending, which descends from the Z's all the way down to the A's. So to go ahead and do a simple sort, for example, like on this numbered list here, which by the way, in the numbered list you could say, why would I want to sort that list if it's a hierarchical structure of one being the most important? And if I sort that ascending by the first letter, this would bump down here and the A's would be up at the top followed by the B's and C's so it wouldn't be the highest priority which in the numbered list number one you'd think okay that's the high priority well you could use a numbered list for another way and that's just basically the total number of items that you need to bring let's say in this example to camping you don't have it in any particular order you just realize that you need to bring a total of five items so sorting it wouldn't hurt it okay you're just using it to count up how many items to show you how to do it just go ahead and be sure to select all the items within your list that you want to be able to sort the entire list there because if you don't and you just click anywhere within it and you come up here on the home tab to the paragraph group and you click on the sort button the A to Z notice two things happen first of all the window comes up asking us how we want to sort this and then second of all notice how it selected not only the uh, list that we want to sort the number list but also the other paragraphs and the uh, bulleted list as well which we do not want that so click cancel and focus it by selecting the numbered list and then come back up here and click on the sort button okay so we're focusing just on that uh, numbered list I'm gonna go ahead and go from left to right here so the first thing it asks us is what do we want to sort by a paragraph or click on the drop down arrow or field one now we know about paragraphs because at the end of each uh, either bulleted list item or numbered list item is a paragraph code that takes us to the next one because everything to the left of that paragraph code is within that item right we learned that in uh, level one. So paragraphs is very simplistic. It just means, okay, you can type and type and type as much as you want, but after you type a gazillion sentences, it always looks at the first letter within that entire paragraph. Or your paragraph could be actually broken up into fields, as we just saw here, but it only found one field. How does Word define what a field is? Well, if you come down here and you click on the Options button, you see where it says Separate Fields At? It actually looks within each paragraph, and it looks for these uh, what are called delimiters. It's a fancy way of saying special characters that will, in this case, separate your fields. So apparently, there's a tab within this numbered list here, a tab delimiter or character. If there was commas within it, I could go ahead and select commas. And you can see it up here. I've got a comma in the bulleted list, one, but also two. So I have it separating the first and last name and also the uh, city and state. So if I select commas, and I have it selected up here, then there would be a total of how many fields? Well, you've got one field before the comma here, then you have the second field between this comma and the next comma, so there's number two, and then you have another field after that comma. So you see two commas, but you have three fields, okay? And I'll show you that in just a second. So in any case, you select tabs, you click OK, it shows you that you have one field. Let me click Cancel because I want to show you that code there, and if you remember how to turn on your codes in level one, come up here on the home tab to the paragraph group click on the show hide codes and there you go the tab code is the arrow so that means that when you create your list items it automatically adds a tab there and you can go ahead and start typing it so it says okay everything after that tab code until it hits the next tab code is going to be one field and because there's no other tab codes there at the end of this paragraph it just says okay between that first tab code and the end of the paragraph I don't see another one so that's just one field so it doesn't matter whether you select the paragraph to sort by, which is the entire paragraph here, looks at the first letter, or just the first field. And remember, after this tab code, there's just one field because there's not another tab code. So again, you're still looking at the entire item here, sorting it by the first letter. So let's go back up here, click on A to Z, our sort button. So it doesn't matter paragraphs or the first field. We'll leave it at paragraphs. And then what do you want to sort by? Do you want to sort by text? It can also do it by numbers or dates. So if you have numbers or dates within here, you can do it that way as well. We'll leave it as text, and you can sort it, like I said, ascending, which means all those uh, items that begin with the letter A will be up at the top, followed by the B's, C's, D's, down to the Z's. Or you can do it descending. Let's do it ascending. Click okie dokie, and hey, there we go. Since we didn't have any A's, what's next in the alphabet within my uh, numbered list here is the G. So G, M, P, P, and S is at the bottom of the alphabet for all the items that I have here looking at the first letter. So it's sorted ascendingly. Okay, let's come up here and let's do something a little bit more detailed. So we've got a bulleted list here and we've got a couple of delimiters in here. 
Actually, I've got quite a few delimiters in here. I've got tabs, I've got commas, I've got spaces, and I have paragraphs. So I can choose any one of those that I want to go ahead and say, this is going to be a field that I sort by, this is a field that I sort by, or that's a field that I sort by. Because by default, if you just choose paragraph, it takes the first letter within that paragraph, the entire paragraph here, and it sorts it by that. But if I want to break it up into fields, let me come up here, click on my sort button, and click on the drop down arrow, it's got two fields. Again, how does it know how many fields are in there? Well, when you click on options, it says it's looking for the delimiter tabs. How many tabs do we have? We have one, two. So at the right of the first tab, we have the first field. Right at the second tab, we have a second field, so there's two fields. If I come down here and I change it to commas, how many commas do I have? I've got one, I've got two. So to the left of this comma, I have the first field. To the right of that comma, before it hits the next comma, I've got one field, even though it's separated by whatever. It's just looking me in between commas, okay? So we've got one to the left, one field in between until we hit the next comma, and then one to the right of that comma. So two commas, three fields. So click OK, click on the drop down arrow, three fields. So what I could do is I can go ahead and say let's sort by field number two. So remember this is the first field to the left of the comma. The second field includes Lisa, Tab, Chicago before it hits the next comma. So it's going to take that first letter in this uh, second field and sort it. What do we want to sort it by? If we do it descending, it'll take Andrew because he begins with the letter A up at the top followed by the B, C's, or we can do it descending, which it flips. So it'll start with Simon and go up to the top, click okie dokie, and there we go. Simon, Lisa, John, and then the A's down at the bottom. And like I said, let me come up here and click on the sort button again. You can come back down here to options and actually type in a special character, like let's say you type in the last name, you put a dash in there, or you want to even use a space, just go ahead and type in whatever other special character or delimiter that is breaking up your paragraph here within the items there for each bullet. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. And then down at the bottom it says my list has no header row or it has a header row. A header row basically is the label for the uh, rest of the rows down below where I could actually have another bullet up at the top saying these are the first names and the cities. I wouldn't want that bullet sorted with the rest of the bullets so I could say that first row it's the heading or the title for the rest of the bullets down below so don't include that is what it's saying. And you can see it right up at the top, it actually has the sort by below this header row, which assumes that this is now the first header row. So you can choose this header, which is San Diego, California, or click on the drop down arrow, choose the last name header here. Okay, so it doesn't matter if I choose the last name, we're looking at this field right here, but again, what options are we looking at? We're looking at tabs. It defaults back to tabs. So let me go ahead and click cancel. And then let's see what happens when I go ahead and sort ascending because then that means when I sort it here it's looking at the first letter because remember we've got two tabs so there's the first field there's the second field that's sorting by this field first click okie dokie it doesn't sort the first header row because if we didn't designate this as a header row Wilford would be put down here below Simpson because it's ascending A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P you get the alphabet song that's how it's sorted I can come back up here click on the sort button and it's nice because after you're done it just defaults back to where it says no header row and the options are back defaulted. It'll take it back to its defaults and then you just have to reset it again if you want to sort it in a different way.